This is the next installment of the Pi Game Tutorials. Today we are going to actually animate something and get it to move around the screen. And there are several different ways to do that and we are going to introduce the concept of sprites. And all a sprite is is just an object that can be moved out, out of the screen, around the screen. And this is going to seem like a lot of code that we're going to use today, and it is, but what it's going to allow us to do is more efficiently use uh, sprites when we have a lot of things moving around the screen. So what I've done first is just set up a basic class. I've imported the different modules that we usually use, set up a class called Bounce, and started the constructor class setting up the Pi game in it, setting up the various window components, and then down here in our if name equals main, the um, while true loop so that we can close the window when we want to. Okay, let's actually start setting up our animation. And the first thing we're going to do is something different. Usually up here we just leave this as object, and that means that it's, in, it's a subclass of the object class. So we're, anything that, that can deal with an object, we're going to in inherit into our bounce class. We're actually going to make this a subclass of the Pygame Sprite class. So we're going to put Pygame Sprite Sprite. And what that's going to allow us to do, it's going to have access to all the different sprite methods. We're not going to use a lot of them today, but we're going to do that in the future. And so one of the things we have to do here is we, we init Pygame, we also have to init the sprite module. So we're going to do pygame.sprite.sprite and then it's going to be underscore underscore in it self and again that allows us to use the sprite methods in that class all right well let's start putting things on our screen you see here we have a 400 by 400 window with the caption of the bouncing ball and we filled the screen with white so what we're going to do is we're going to make a frame that we can move around. We're going to make a, a little container for our, our circle. And so in the same way in, in TKint we made frames for different things, we're going to make a little, we'll call it ball frame, and that's going to equal a pi game surface. And again, a surface needs a size. So we're going to make this 50 by 50, which is going to be the size of our ball that we're going to use. So we just set up a little frame, and we are going to fill that with white as well. So we'll do the same thing as we would the screen. 255, 255, 255. Now here's something that, that, that we have not done before, is we're going to use a method of pi game called a rect. And it's different than the draw rect, where we draw a rectangle. What this does, this is going to give us coordinates of our frame and then we can actually use those coordinates to move our frame around the screen and we'll see how we do this in a few minutes. So we're going to do self dot rect equals actually well, let's make this ball rect equals self dot ball frame dot get rect and what that does, that's going to return a tuple of coordinates it's going to be the, the uh, upper left hand point and then the width and height of our rectangle. Sort of similar to a drawing a rectangle, but this rect is like a container that we can then move around the screen. All right, and we are going to say that the self ball rect top left, we're going to say the top left of it is going to equal, uh, let's say, uh, two let's say 100 comma 200. That's going to be the initial starting position of our uh, ball frame. Now let's draw a circle in that. So we're going to do pi game dot draw dot circle. Now with the screen we're going to put it in is not our base screen, but we're going to put it in the self dot ball frame. Let's make it, I don't know, let's make it red to make it easy. We're going to make uh, the. Now remember, this one is the starting location on the screen. So we're going to make it 25, 25, which is the middle of this ball frame surface right here. 
So that's the, the, the center of that. And then we're going to make the radius 25 and 0 to fill it in. Okay? And now since what we're going to do now is we ha that, that circle is part of ball frame, but ball frame is not anywhere. So that, that will not show up on the screen. So what we have to do is we have to self.screen, because that's where we want the ball to show up on. And we're going to blit, because that's how you get one surface on top of another. The ball frame. And self dot ball rect dot top left. Okay? And that's gonna that, what that says is take the ball frame containing the circle, blit it onto the screen at the whatever location the top left is, which is 100, 200. Okay, so to kind of recap what we did, we created the ball frame, we put a circle in it, and then blitted that to the screen. All right, again, it seems like a lot of steps, but it'll allow us to do a lot more later. Now what we actually have to do is create a method that's going to move the ball. This just sets it up. We wanted to move around the screen. So let's create a method called move ball. And it'll just take self as a parameter. Now what we want to do is the first thing we want to do, we want to take the self and we're going to use the ball rect. Whoops. And then there, again, there's top left, but there's also top left, bottom right. So we're going to take, say the, take the top of the ball rectangle and we're going to add self.speed. And you realize we actually haven't created a variable called self.speed. And the speed is what how fast we're going to update the ball. So let's go up to the our class up here. And let's make a variable called self.speed. And we're going to make the speed, let's say, 2, comma 2. What that means is every frame, we're going to move the, the, the upper left-hand point of the rectangle 2 pixels. And okay, so that's what self.speed does. Now we're going to jump back down here. Since we're just using the top, we actually only want to move the x coordinate or the y coordinate over since the top is, is left to right, or I mean up down. And then we're going to move the left part of the rectangle that much. Okay? So we're going to move, remember, 0 means this coordinate, so that's the x coordinate. 1 is the second item in the list, which is the y coordinate. So we're moving the y part of that rectangle, one, 2 pixels, and we're going to move the left coordinate, 2 pixels. Okay? And that has the effect of moving the ball. So now we are going to, now we've moved it, we are going to do a pi game dot draw dot rect. We're going to, now we're going to draw a, a rectangle to cover up the screen so that we can update our animation in the same way we did with the uh, coordinates of the mouse when we did the, the last tutorial. We're going to draw that rectangle on our base screen. And we are going to make it a white rectangle so it covers up everything on the screen. And our coordinates, we're going to start in the upper left-hand corner and we're going to make it the same size as our screen and fill it in. Okay, so now we've drawn that rectangle. And now we're going to again blit our ball in its updated location. So self we're going to put ball frame onto the screen and the coordinates we're going to use are the ball rect because we've moved it one we've moved actually two pixels to the left or we two pixels down and two pixels over and now we have to update the screen so pi game dot display update all right so now what we have to do is 
let's go back to our main loop and if we don't quit we want every so every time it gets to this loop we want to actually do that move ball remember so we're going to start out with whoops we created the, an instance of the class called ball and we want to do the move ball method now there's one other thing we want to do because if we do this our you know, modern computers go so fast that that ball is just going to jump off the screen so we're going to go back to the top and we're going to import the module time and we're just going to do time we're just going to sleep the computer for about uh, two tenths of a second so that it'll just give the, the, the screen time to catch up so let's go ahead and save that and run it and you can see the ball kind of inching across the screen probably should speed it up a little bit and let's see what happens when it hits the screen it goes right off and it's going to keep going forever so that's not good so we've got to figure out how to keep our ball on the screen so let's let's first of all let's change this to point zero two so it goes a little bit faster let's see how that looks and it goes off the screen okay well, let's go back up to here and let's try to tell it if it hits the if it hits the screen what to do so we're gonna do a, a little test we're gonna say if self dot ball rect dot left so if the left part of the rectangle containing our circle is less than zero so that means if the if it gets if it's going to bounce off the left hand side or self dot ball rect dot right is greater than 400 which is the width of our screen we want a reverse direction so that so remember these are our x coordinates so we're going to do self dot speed zero is going to equal negative self dot speed zero what that that says is if the left part of the rectangle gets less than zero switch direction now we're going to do the same thing for the y direction if self dot ball rect dot top is less than zero or self dot ball rect dot bottom is greater than 400 self dot speed and we're going to use one this time that's the x coordinate is equal to negative self dot speed one okay so we've just said if the if the left boundary is less than zero or the right boundary is greater than 400 switch direction if the top is gets less than zero or the bottom is greater than 400 switch direction in the y direction so let's go ahead and save this and run it and see what happens you can see now our ball bounces around the screen and so we've created a very basic animation what we'll do next time is look at one way to kind of streamline our code so it's easier to change and we'll talk about using multiple sprites so let's get we'll get several things bouncing on the screen and ways to do that a little bit more efficiently so thanks for watching. Have a great day.